here we are on a site in Newcastle, the UK, and we are doing a load in and load out and assembly of jackets for the Peters project. Over the past few weeks, we have assembled and built the SGC 120, and today we will load test it, and then it is final to hand over to the client for use. It's one of the world's most massive cranes. Compact and powerful, the SGC 120 can lift over 3,000 tons. Its low ground bearing pressures mean it can be erected on site with a limited civil works impact. With the ring already installed on load spreading steel mats, it's time to build the main frame. The deck panels go first on top of the crane frame. Then, hydraulic winches and power packs for reliable load raising and lowering. The two back masts are next. The SGC 120 may be mighty, but it operates well in tight spaces, thanks to a compact ring design. Whether at offshore platforms or nuclear power plants, it does the heavy lifting without disrupting other site work. As the first back mast goes up, the team uses temporary bracing to keep everything secure. Next, the crawler crane is detached and the second back mast raised. With the back mast soaring high, Sarens installs connections between the two structures. The counterweights are next. 36 ballast containers, 100 tons each, packed with locally sourced materials, are loaded onto the platform. With the counterweights ready, it's time to connect the cables. The team reeves the bridles, using thin cables to guide thicker ones into place. Then, the two back mast cables are connected, and the main boom, which the team has pre-assembled, is installed. Next, it's time to connect the bridles to the boom and wind the winches, tensing the bridles. The Sarens team reeves the pre-assembled hook block. A rope pulls the steel cable through the pulleys. This cable guides another, thicker one, from the winch and through the pulleys. Finally, the team installs the hook and prepares the massive crane for load testing. Assembling a crane like this is a project on itself. First of all, you need a lot of place. There's a 45 meter ring uh, footprint. The boom is 130 meters long, so you need place to assemble that one on the ground as well. You need a decent sized crawler crane to install the counterweights, which weigh 100 tons each, 36 of them. But all that together pays off. In the end, you'll have a crane that has uh, over 3,000 tons of capacity.